Jele, I'll be explaining question 6 of the tutorial 2. Hey guys, I'm Tinia Fumagisa. I'll be the student in this tutorial. Alright. As you see for question 6, they asked us, change the following effective interest rates to the equivalent nominal rate per annum, compound and monthly. In question A, we see that we have 5% per quarter. This is not, as you see, there's one, only one compounding period, and we need to convert it to compound and monthly. So by this, we have to multiply the 5% by 4. Um, it's I because we are only dealing with one compounding period right now, which is per quarter. Okay. For J, in order to change it to per annum compounded quarterly, we'll have to multiply it by four. So to you understand mean, that. We have since to four multiply quarters in one year. the interest with the compounding period. Yes, okay. in order. That's how that's what I was doing now. Sure. Since we have the figures given here, we can already go to our calculator. Hmm, guys, I think I see a mistake here. I don't know if you see it. Did you see the mistake? Yeah, why did you change that compounding period now? Yes, you see, I made a bit of a hash here. Since I'm dealing with per quarters, yeah. it shouldn't be compounded monthly since I didn't make the conversion yet. Okay. I have to keep it quarterly. Sure. So, here you go. Thank you. So what you've done now is just giving us the interest rate for the whole year, but the compounding period is still the same. Yes, okay. exactly what I just did. Thank you. Now we can go straight to our calculators and and convert the J into the I one. Into the effective interest rate. Into the effective interest rate. Okay. We go to convert. Since we're working in quarters, the N is going to be four. I is going to be 20. We're solving effective, so we click solve. And this gives us an effective figure of 21.5506.25 per annum. And since we have the figure already in the calculator, we can go back to the conversions. And since we are solving for compounded, um, per annum compounded monthly, we're going to change our n to 12. And solve for the APR, which will give us the answer. Okay. Which will give us the answer of 19. Point six seven five six two eight one eight percent per annum compounded monthly. Um, guys, if you have any problem, just try it over again. It's not as hard as the teachers. <laughs> guys, it's not as hard as the teachers make it to me. Try it at home. Oh. Okay, guys, for example, 6B, we're dealing with 14% per annum, which is going to be the effective. Right. What do you have to change it to? Because it's already effective here. Yeah. Yes, since it's already effective, we don't, since we already have the compounding period, we can already go straight to our calculator to make the conversion. We simply, since it's per annum, we know that it's going to be 12. We know that it's going to be 12. All right, all right, so guys, since you already have the I is 14% per annum, mm -hmm. we don't need to convert it to compounded quarterly since you already have the figure. We can already put this in our calculator. Like this. So 
So, that's the difference between the J that we did before and this one. Yes, as you see here, we had per quarter and we had to convert it to per annum compounded month, oh. compounded okay. quarterly. And here, we just have per annum. So, we can already go straight to our calculator. Okay. What we do is press the conversion button, press the conversion button. As you see, it's per annum, 12, N is going to be 12. I is going to be 14 percent, but it's in the calculator you can just write 14 and you can already solve for the APR which will give you J. Thirteen point one seven four six two two three four per annum compounded. monthly. Very easy. Thank you guys. Enjoy your day.